Okay, friends, now we are ready to roll out our donuts. You can see in here, my dough has doubled in size. It uh, took about 30 minutes. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flour, generously flour. You don't want these to stick. At all. Flour, clean surface. And I'm gonna turn my bowl out. Ah, beautiful. Turn my dough out, I mean. I'm gonna flour my rolling pin. And we're just gonna start rolling. You want to roll these about a half an inch thick. You need to remember that we are going to do a second prove or a second rise. So they're going to look a little small, but they not only get bigger when they rise, but they also puff up a little bit when you fry them. So I think that's good. That's a good thickness, perfect. Okay, I have a round cookie cutter and I'm just gonna start Cutting these out. There we go. This recipe will give me about mm, 12 to 18 donuts, depending on how thin you roll out your dough. And a lot of donut holes, a couple dozen. And you're really only able to roll this out once and do this once. It's not like sugar cookie dough where you can ball it back up and roll it out again. I've tried that so many times and there's something about just the structure of the dough that doesn't work. So you just wanna get these as close together as possible to get as many donuts as you can. But then I'm gonna show you how to make donut holes. They are literally the donut holes, but then you can make extras that aren't actually out of the middle of the donuts. I had someone on Instagram. They're like mind blown. I did not actually know that donut holes were literally donut holes, <laughs> but they are. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, nine, 13. Yeah, this is gonna give me 15, looks like. Okay. Then I am actually using a piping tip. Okay, this is, um, this is just the exact size that I want for the center of my donut. And I'm just gonna cut out the donut holes. Okay, now once I've got all the donut holes cut out, I'm gonna go around with the same tip and just see how many more I can get out of this dough. And what I love to do with the donut holes is just roll them in some cinnamon sugar or powdered sugar. I'm gonna glaze the donuts, but I'm gonna to toss the donut holes in a cinnamon sugar. And it's so good. Perfect. You're going to pull this off Carefully, and again, you can try to ball it up and roll it out again, and I have done that, and they taste fine, but they just, um, these, it, the dough never smooths out again, so I can't ever get like a smooth surface on my donuts. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I pull the holes out of all the donuts and spread them out a little bit. We're gonna rise again. Um, so they're gonna get bigger, so you don't want them too close together. And make sure they're just plenty of flour so they don't stick. That one didn't quite cut out all the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up that edge a little bit. Perfect. Handle them very gently, because you don't want any finger marks in them. 
and they're fragile. Just gonna make sure we are totally flower dusted on here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover these with plastic and I'm going to let them rise again for a another 20 to 30 minutes. While they're rising, I'm gonna heat up the oil in my frying pan. You can do them on a skillet on the stove um, or you can buy a deep fat fryer. I'm actually going to use this giant griddle skillet. I don't know exactly what you call them but I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or Walmart. We actually got this as a wedding gift 24 years ago, and it still works, and I love it, and I use it all the time. But it's perfect, it's deep for frying, and it's electric, so I can put it on my counter. Anyway, I'm gonna cover these up with my plastic wrap. Oh my goodness. And let them do their thing. And cover, don't cover them too tight. They're gonna rise. So just barely, barely cover. Okay, friends, we are ready to fry up our donuts. Um, I have my oil. I have about an inch of oil in my skillet and I have heated it to 400 degrees. That's the highest it'll go. I like it nice and hot. Sometimes as I'm frying, I'll have to turn it down just a little bit. But um, this is how I test to see if my oil is heated up enough. I'll get a little piece of dough, or you can just use a thermometer, but I'm not high tech enough to have one of those yet. Um, and I'm gonna, drop a, I'm gonna drop a tiny piece of dough in there, and if it starts to bubble and, if it starts to bubble and float, it's getting really close. Okay, and then it, it should brown up in like, see how it's kind of brown a little bit? That was less than 30 seconds. So I think we're ready to go. All right, I have a wooden spoon here because I use the back of it. It's just so easy to flip the donuts. This goes really fast. Make sure you have some um, cooling racks lined with paper towels. Be really careful, keep the kids away from this hot pan of oil because it does splash and it's just, I don't know, it just makes me so nervous. But these will brown up very quickly in 30 seconds or less and you've just gotta be ready to flip them quickly. Have some tongs ready to pull them out or you can even just lift them with the spoon and ready to drain on there. Okay, it's go time, here we go. Gently pick up the donuts lay them away from you gently don't drop them in i've been splattered before it's not fun it hurts just gently see how you can hear it they're bubbling quickly i'm going to probably do eight at a time yeah that's perfect and just kind of lift and check It does, as soon as it gets kind of golden brown, you're gonna start flipping them. It goes very quickly. But you want it on a nice high temperature. That way it doesn't get saturated with oil and they're lighter and not super greasy. Ooh, see, yeah, this just goes so fast. Be ready to flip. 20 more seconds, then we'll pull them out. Okay, here we go. There's one, two, this is the fun part. It just goes by so fast and it's so much work and prep to get there. But they are worth it, they taste so good. Okay, I'm gonna turn my oil down just a hair. It's just going so fast, like 375, maybe.
Those are just a little dark for my liking. They're so good. I'm just gonna move this one over a little bit. And again, you can do these on your stove um, in a skillet, even if even a small skillet. Just needs to be deep enough to hold about three quarters of an inch to an inch of oil. But you could just even do one or two or three at a time. Turn my oil down so it's just cooking just a little bit slower, which is actually good. And I can keep up with it. Oh, well, those are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna fry my donut holes. These are a little trickier because what happens is they puff up and they don't like to flip over like the donut. So I, I just constantly turn with my tongs. I'll only do about half of them. I just constantly flip them because they're a little trickier. They like to stay on one side. these. There we go. Just keep flipping them. Ah, they're nearly perfect. So good. <laughs> That's what my son said when he was watching my video. He's like, I love watching them get brown and you flip them. It's so satisfying. That's exactly what he said. He said. Okay, I'm gonna pull these out. See how fast that went? We are almost done with the entire batch. And I have 15 donuts and probably, do that, I don't know, three dozen donut holes, two and a half. Three, there we go, okay. Okay, so I have, uh, I put about a cup of sugar in here, generous amount of cinnamon, Oh, perfect, yeah. And then I'm gonna get my warm donut holes. Probably about half of them. I'm just gonna, ooh, I'm just gonna dust them. Just roll them in the cinnamon sugar and they are so, they're so good warm. Oh my goodness. I had to. So good. <laughs> 